Hey guys, it's Rage. So the news of Activision Blizzard being acquisitioned by Microsoft hit the news while I was live. So I had this pleasant discussion with my stream, which actually lasted an hour. But thankfully, through the technology of edits, I've kind of composed it down. That was a difficult word. Uh, into just this 30 minute segment highlighting some of the favorites including uh, Game Pass and PS Plus and also the downfall of PlayStation due to the fact that well let me just show you so Sony is selling their exclusives because people aren't buying the consoles for their exclusives they're buying it for COD and Fortnite so the idea that Microsoft is going to exclusivize Call of Duty to the Xbox might just kill the PlayStation 5. Holy shit! Microsoft's gonna kill the, the PlayStation. Are we gonna be seeing the end of the PlayStation? If what you just said is true, demons, then this may be the end. This may be the end of the PlayStation. So what? why have they... Why have they bought it? What does this mean? Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard. Doesn't that mean that's going to be really good because Microsoft is basically going to dominate the gaming industry? Because Microsoft already own, well, our PCs, uh, Xbox. Well, so it might become Game Pass. Good. Means that I still have to, have to pay both of them. That would work for me. Microsoft have no experience for MMO games, sadly. Yeah, it doesn't mean that they can't learn, though, or just buy people who know how to work MMO games. So they have ESO. There you go. They've got ESO as well. It's crazy. Neither does Activision Blizzard. Everybody left. True. That's the thing. Like, Blizzard's is already in, like, a really shit state. So the fact that they're being bought out by Microsoft is probably a good thing for them. Because Microsoft have the drive to be able to not want to burn something to the ground that they've just invested 70 billion pounds into. So they will have the money to be able to buy the expertise in, especially with buying Zenimax and having ESO as well. That's brilliant. ESO is a good example of how an MMO, MMO should be developed and governed and published. So... I mean, it's a good, I think it's a good thing for Blizzard. And hell, if it means that I can like drop my Game Pass and get World of Warcraft in intertwined with it, happy days for me. I think this is going to be a really good thing. The only thing that we can really, really do is just be opti uh, optimistic about it. Okay, I have no idea why Stream Elements is not doing its thing. Yeah, it could be a really pog move. Only time will tell. Uh, a friend just made a good point. Call of Duty ended up Call of Duty ends up an Xbox exclusive. Might be looking at that more than a while. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't make probably the biggest FPS franchise in the world a console exclusive. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, well, they did that with Halo. But yeah, fuck Halo. Call of Duty is bigger than Halo. 100%. There must be some legal rights there. There's no way. I don't like the idea of um, console exclusive games. I think that I, I get it from like a like a business point of view, but from a consumer point of view, we should be allowed to play whatever want we want on the console that we want. Do you know what I mean? I don't care about any console exclusives really, so it doesn't bother me. I just um, I'm more for like. I can see Microsoft pushing Sony out, do you know what I mean? Type thing. Like, I have a PlayStation 5. I'm yet to play it. I've not played... any PlayStation exclusives. Um, and I'm buying God of War on the PC this month. So it's like... Yeah, PlayStation may have some really good exclusives, but... I think for the majority of players, because the majority of gamers are probably not PlayStation players, we don't care. We don't care. A large majority of gamers are probably PC players. I'm just pulling that out of my ass, but eventually console exclusive will come to the PC. And what console is connected to the PC? The Xbox. You buy an Xbox membership to be able to play online with your friends, it works on your PC. So it's like, but at the same time, 
if you have PC, you don't need to have an Xbox. It's pointless to have an Xbox because your get your Game Pass works on PC. So anything you play on the Xbox, you can almost all play on the PC. I don't know CLDR PC Master Race. <laughs> I just don't like the idea of, um, it's not a case of me being like, oh yeah, Xbox is better than PlayStation or PlayStation is better than Xbox. I couldn't care less. It's the fact that I'm worried that Microsoft may make too many things like Call of Duty. If they do make Call of Duty exclusive to the Xbox and the PC, the PlayStation is just going to be a really nice ornament. What are you going to do? Why'd you bother playing PS5? Uh, my boyfriend wanted it. And I'm, I'm the best girlfriend ever, evidently. You'd think you just want to play good games regardless of what system they're on. Why limit yourself to one system for the brand namesake? Yeah, exactly. And and that's what I mean. Um, <laughs> At the moment, probably like, I suppose as, as we get older and um, we're all maturing as gamers and we have jobs. Um, money probably isn't that much of an issue. When I first started working for Vodafone, when I was a part-timer, my second paycheck went on a PlayStation and an Xbox. And I was earning nine pounds an hour, 16 hours a week. Granted, I did have rent to pay and a dog to pay for and a car to pay for, but that was it. So I had both consoles like straight off the bat and I'd like to think the majority of you guys have a choice when you buy a console. Like it's not a case of you have to either decide to get an Xbox or a PlayStation. But if people are only able to buy one console and it is the PlayStation purely because of the exclusives that Sony has and then Microsoft goes and makes big titles like Overwatch, Diablo, Call of Duty, all of that console exclusive to Xbox, the people that have spent 500, 400 quid on a PlayStation 5 are fucked. And that's just not, that's not nice. That's not good. I'd like to think people are established enough to buy both consoles, but we shouldn't have to buy two consoles just so that we could play the exclusives. Game Pass is stupid value for many for 120 pound a year. See, I don't, I think Game Pass is really good personally because um, I'm someone that is, heavily addicted to world of warcraft but also would love the chance to play more games but i just don't want to buy new games so for me 10 pound a month to be able to play thousands of different games and there's some bangers on game pass and if you're saying there's not any bangers on game pass and you're massively biased and stupid because there is there is, all right? There's some great games on Game Pass. Not just AAA titles, but also indie games. Like, It Takes Two, only one of you needs that to be able to play it. And it was it was, su it was such a good game. I haven't played it yet, but it's such a good game. There's so many different things like that on Game Pass. It's very good value, in my opinion. But it works for me because I don't want to buy a game and own it. Because once I've played a game, chances of me going back and playing it again is, is very slim. If you want to own any of the games on Game Pass, you can for 20% off. So it's a win-win, surely. Oh, you can? PlayStation has their own stuff. Everything from God of War, Horizon, and many others, they will do just fine. Yeah, but God of War's come into the PC now. Horizon Zero Dawn's on the PC now. Oh no, that's Monster Hunter World, never mind. But yeah, quite a few Sony exclusives are coming to the PC. I don't know why, but yeah. I know it sucks, like the idea isn't Oh, hey, if you want to play this game that's exclusive to Sony, wait a year and I'll be on your PC. Like, that's a bit shit. But, I mean, it stops me from buying it. I know that I speak for myself, but I'd like to think that people were in a position now where we don't really have to choose between consoles. But we shouldn't have to choose between consoles purely for the exclusives we should choose between consoles because that's what we enjoy playing i grew up playing playstation and xbox so i'm indifferent to the two i can play on both of them same with um switch like i you tell me if i'm holding an xbox or a switch or a playstation controller i'll tell you where the buttons are without even looking i just don't like the the fact that i so i didn't own a playstation so i didn't i owned the playstation 4 when it first came out and i sold it after a couple months because i didn't play on it um and then all the playstation exclusives came out and i had to miss out on all of them because i didn't have a playstation and then 
Mers wanted a PlayStation 5, so I got a PlayStation 5 for the family, but it's definitely mine. As much as I want to play the Final Fantasy VII Remake and I can't because he's fucking playing someone else on it. And I can't bring it upstairs. Um, I will soon. I will. I'll be able to stream it soon, I promise. But uh, yeah, I missed out on all of them. And one of them was God of War. I really wanted to play God of War, but now I'm like, why, why would I buy God of War for the PlayStation? I could just buy it for the PC. I don't think they'll move well. Sub to Game Pass, there's too many things linked to it that lose revenue. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's the same with ESO. They probably wouldn't move an ESO membership to um, Game Pass. The thing is, though, I don't think it would be a smart move to move any game subscriptions for MMOs over to Game Pass because they would pretty much be halving their revenue. For people like me who have a subscription on MMO and Game Pass, why would they... Why would they do that? Have I seen the leak cost of a 3090 Ti? I haven't. What is it? Tell me. You can play God of War for free on PlayStation 5 if you've got PS Plus. Or I can play it for free. Wait, it's not on Game Pass, is it? No. I, I, could, just, I could just buy it. I don't know. The only reason why Sony are selling the exclusives is because people buying PlayStation 4s and 5s and playing games like Con Fortnite. Oh. So Sony is selling their exclusives because people aren't buying the consoles for their exclusives. They're buying it for COD and Fortnite. So the idea that Microsoft is going to exclusivize Call of Duty to the Xbox might just kill the PlayStation 5. Holy shit! Microsoft's gonna kill the, the PlayStation. Are we gonna be seeing the end of the PlayStation? If what you just said is true, demons, then this may be the end. This may be the end of the PlayStation. Sony's revealed the most downloaded games for its PlayStation 4 and 5 and VR platforms across the whole of 2021. It's split between US and EU. So number one game in the US was NBA 2K22. In the EU, it was FIFA. Ranking number two in both... Uh, versions was call of duty vanguards ranking number three in the us was marvel's spider-man miles morales and then the eu it was fifa 2021 we really like our fifa ranking number four for the us was mad mandan lf nfl and for the eu it was miles morales uh ranking number five for both were battlefield 2042 Ranking 6 for the US was Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Ranking number 6 in the EU was Among Us. Ranking number 7 in the US was Black Ops Cold War. Ranking number 7 in the U EU was Kena Bridge of Spirits. Ranking 8 for the US is MLB The Show 2021. In the EU was Far Cry 6. In the US, for number 9, it was Resident Evil Village. In the EU, it was It Takes Two. This is insane. For the US, for rank 10, it was Far Cry 6. For the EU, for rank 10, it was Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Sony included a free-to-play PlayStation category that's unsurprisingly dominated by Fortnite, Rocket League, and Call of Duty Warzone. So, out of all of those top... So, there's, there's 10 spots there for both regions and out of those top 10 only one two only two titles are playstation exclusive miles morales and uh and um ratchet and clank call of duty ranking second man that's crazy if eu if 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 EU, if EA join up with Microsoft, because EA's got EA Play and they, you know, they're on uh, PC mainly. If EA joined with Microsoft, that would absolutely kick PlayStation in the balls. Because both the, the top two spots would be taken and make it made like Xbox exclusive. So you got NBA, NBA, FIFA, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Miles Morales, which is exclusive. FIFA, uh, NFL, Miles Morales, Battlefield, Battlefield. It would leave PlayStation with Miles Morales, Among Us, 
and Ratchet and Clank. Because It Takes Two is Microsoft. Um, Resi wasn't. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is Microsoft. Is it? I don't know. PlayStation, we have Spider-Man. It's funny that um, Miles Morales is up there, not The Last of Us. Because Miles Morales, a lot of people said that it doesn't deserve to be its own game. It should have been the DLC. Picture this. Microsoft say Call of Duty will be exclusive to any platform where Game Pass is available. Does that force Sony to allow Game Pass on PlayStation? Oh. And is that why PlayStation is going to be announcing their own Game Pass soon? What if it's a collaboration between Microsoft and Sony? for this very reason. Because you have to admit, this is a very dangerous situation for Sony right now. Why would EA do that though? Surely being at the top of both console lists is better than just being at the top of one. Exactly. That's why I made the link between EA and Game Pass is because if you have Game Pass, you have EA Play. You can buy EA Play Plus, I think it's called, where you get extra stuff. But as base standard, if you have Game Pass, you have EA Play. If Microsoft does approach EA with with a billion dollar offer, then, I mean, are they going to turn it down? They'd be stupid to. It's the same with, like, I know Activision Blizzard was in a really tough, tough spot, but they were still Activision Blizzard. You know, they still had uh, Call of Duty. They still had World of Warcraft. They had all of these huge, huge, huge titles. Overwatch. Overwatch 2 is about to come out. You've got the Diablo. If Microsoft wants to buy EA, they would be well north of 100 billion to even think about it. EA are allegedly worth 37 billion. What if they, what, what, what if, right? They keep, what if they keep PlayStation, right? So they keep PS Plus or whatever it's called. It's called PS Plus in it. What if they keep PS Plus? but incorporate it into Xbox Ultimate Game Pass. Do you know what, right? Do you know, I'm so proud of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, right? I don't know where it's gonna go, but I remember doing giveaways for it and people were all like, ew, Why what's this? Xbox Game Pass? Ew. And I'm like, no, Xbox Game Pass is amazing. It's amazing because you get all of these games, you can play them across your console and your PC, you get a discount on everything and you can try before you buy. It's brilliant. There is no amount of hours that you have to like be below in order for it to count and you get access to EA games as well, which is insane. And people are like, ooh, 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 Xbox Game Pass, ooh, disgusting. And I'm like, it's great, it's great. And I would always do giveaways for Xbox Game Pass codes on the scan stuff and now, now, it's dominating your life. Who's laughing now? Me. Me. And the rest of you. But no, I, I think um, if PlayStation is set to announce a brand new Game Pass, then I would put a bet on the fact that they are going to join up forces with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. If, if, it's a big if. Microsoft will let them because you have a direct competitor joining up with a direct competitor and that doesn't happen very often. But we'll see. Uh, Danny, thank you for the five bits there. Appreciate it. Yeah, I learned that there's a difference between EA Play and EA Play Pro when we did the Battlefield stuff because um, you had to buy EA Play Pro in order to play Battlefield 2042 ahead of its release. Uh, instant access to premium versions of brand new games. I assume Sony was also trying to get hold of Activision Blizzard so they would be angry. Why would, uh... Why would Sony try and get Activision Blizzard? Sony only ever holds shares in consoles, so it'd be a bit... Although I suppose they would be dominating the market a little bit better. Sony have never expressed interest. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They only ever hold interest or like shares in uh, their consoles. <laughs> Even more so, they get it free with your two years phone contract. You get Game Pass for free. EA only recently made up with Valve and Valve don't play nice with Microsoft. Imagine if they did though. 
Imagine if, um, imagine if Valve just went, right, you know what? Microsoft, let's kiss and make up. Let's do a business deal. And Steam and Xbox Game Pass had a baby. You'd get like all of the cool features of Steam, but it would just look like an adult has made them. Not a bearded neck beard in the basement of his mum's house. Do you know what I mean? Steam does give me that vibe. Calling it Steam as well. It's like, oh, we're edgy. We're like a Thomas the Tank Engine. We got Steam. You know, that I've never really vibed with Steam, to be honest. If we're putting our cards out right here. Not really vibed with Steam. It, it, it really... It just reminds me a bit of like a Reddit warrior. I feel like a lot of Reddit users use Steam. The correlation between the two are probably one to one. Hey, thank you for the 52 months, Geo. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll make Finally, way too much day money. Off where I can watch. Happy 52. Mm. Thank you for the 52. Would happen ever while well, my lord and saviour Gabe is alive? You know, not, better not be calling Gabe a neckbeard. I mean, if the shoe fits, then the shoe fits. You know what I mean? It's just a bit... I don't know. It's Gabe, innit? If you called Gabe and you're overweight and you've got a beard and you developed one of the biggest game platforms in the world. I'm gonna call you a neckbeard. There's just no two ways about it. We'll have to get you cancelled. Why would you cancel me for the truth? If Microsoft offered them any kind of deal with Valve, make guaranteed money, they'd take it. That's the thing, like... Why wouldn't Steam or Valve, I guess, and um... I'm gonna keep calling them Steam. Why wouldn't Steam team up with Microsoft though? I mean, just 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 look at this, right? This is all it is. This is all this is all Steam is. And I know Valve, you know, got their own titles and stuff. And studios, but and the Valve Index and the Steam Deck. Whatever. All I'm saying, okay, this, 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 and everything that comes with it. That's it. Whereas Microsoft have like not just dibs in console world, but also dibs in the PC gaming world and dibs in PCs in general, being fucking Microsoft. Hello? Pressure Windows button. Do you know what I mean? They're just, just, just take Steam and make it better. Do you know, while we're on the, the, the discussion of Steam, do you know what I really hate about Steam? Is that if I want to go into categories and then survival. And I want to go to adventure. Okay. I then can't tag multiplayer. I can only tag survival games multiplayer or survival games adventure. And that just sucks. Ooh. Megacraft hentai apoc... Apoc... Paul yeah, there was uh there was there was no hentai. Make it better how? Just just with the UI, just make it a little more intuitive. It's hard to browse on, on Steam. What I don't like is um having to I don't like all of the multiple different platforms. Like EA, I don't mind because well, I mean I'm not biased. I literally let me move this over here. I literally have my three main so like Origin or EA, whatever. Origin's on my main, Steam's on my main, and um, the Blizzard launcher's on my main. But then you've got, like, Epic Games. Um, well, you know what I mean? You've got, like, Epic Games and everything like that, and that's just, like... There's just too many to keep downloading and uploading, and then when I figure out there's a game that I want to play and it's on a different platform, I just, I just won't play it. Purely because it's just annoying. So, what did you think? What are your thoughts? Let me know down below in the comment section and feel free to come over to my stream to have a discussion about it. I'm live every Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, 11 until 3 as I'm trialing out a new schedule. I should be live every Wednesday evening as well, directly after an upload, so you can catch me there as well. 
It's quite an interesting one. I think the future for PlayStation is going to be a little bit rocky. I honestly don't know how they're going to be able to bring back the monopoly that Microsoft has. And I'm wondering whether some higher ups are probably going to stop in to stop Microsoft monopolizing this entire industry, but only time will tell. I just hope that uh, a bit more exclusives will come to Xbox to try and push PlayStation over to joining Game Pass because it's a really, really cool membership service. If you don't already have it, you can get it for a quid. Check it out. But hey, this isn't an advert, so whatever. Have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Have a lovely rest of your week and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.